Hi there guys, welcome back to another video. This is a Quantum Gaming Uploads. What I'll be showing you in this video is again another video with the MiG-21. As you know, I've been flying this for a couple of days. Came out uh, last week. It's very cool. I really like the, the jet. Uh, the cockpit seems a very good uh, detail. And lots of the stuff in here is uh, functions. Now all this stuff here, obviously, you know, the nuke and all that, all the missiles and everything, that's not going to work on uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. But the rest, uh, they do. There's a very cool, very cool jet. The only thing that bothers me is this thing here. It's a parachute. It is in such a weird place. So when you're trying to land, for example, with this plane, because you're so focused on landing, because this, this jet is not easy to land. It's not easy at all. You're going to struggle with it. But uh, when you do that and you're trying to click on that. That's going to be difficult, guys. So I wish it would have been like uh, automatic. As soon as you land, if the Mr. Developers, if they hear this, can you please do an automatic shoot? As soon as you touch the ground, the shoot can deploy. Because I've struggled to even to add this to the keys on the on the keyboard but even that's going to be a problem because you're going to focus on the landing and you have to hit that as soon as you touch the ground and it you're going to lose the landing because you need to focus exactly what this plane is going to do on the ground so you're going to get distracted and that's why i've seen so many people struggle with it and some of the people that uploaded a video about this plane even them they haven't got a no idea where the parachute was. They were going for that. They are going for that instead of that. Because it's difficult to find in that place there. You have to go right down and see like this. That's why it's difficult. So Mr. Developer, if you're hearing this, if you see this video, please do something about it. Please uh, do an automatic shoot when you land. You ought to have that option at least. It would be great, it would be great if you can do that. Because uh, this plane is not easy to land. You're gonna struggle with it, so that's the only concern I've got. But apart from that, nothing else. But you need the chute to land, as this plane is gonna just fly there. It's not gonna stop without the parachute. I'm gonna try it guys, I'm gonna take this flight and I'm gonna try it but uh, be warned that they may not uh, end up well most of the videos I've seen, they struggled a bit with that let's go yep and the sound as well, uh, not sure if it's exactly a MiG-21 sound I heard a few comments about it that uh, they don't think it sounds like a MiG-21. Uh, so if uh, the developer is going to clarify that, where was the sounds were taken from? What plane were taken from? So I'm not sure. I cannot be 100% sure what the sounds are from. It would be nice to know. It could be as well from a MiG-21, but uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Would be nice to know, though. If they worked uh, on the MiG-21 sounds. And the cockpit and the rattles and everything looks great. And sounds great. But the outside... Could be, could be a MiG-21. Could be the sounds of MiG-21, but I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, because I had a few comments about it, and they don't, uh, they don't think it's a MiG-21 sound. But I love the plane, and nothing wrong with the plane, the plane itself is just uh, very nice, very stable. You're gonna have fun flying her, for sure. Nothing wrong with the plane whatsoever. It comes to that flyability wise. Landing can be tricky. It's not as easy as the other planes, like uh, as easy as the F-14, F-15. 
This is a bit more complicated. And people like that, but... We gotta watch out for that, for the shoot. That's the only thing. If it had an automatic shoot, it would have been amazing. It's got uh, two things in here. It's got that. That's the brake. Control brakes. There's something else in here. That acts as a brake as well, but uh, that... You click on that, I think that, that, that closes. So that's connected with that. And sometimes this thing here doesn't, uh, doesn't always show up. But apart from that, uh, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with that that doesn't, doesn't show. I don't know what it is. That looks like speed, but I cannot see it anywhere else. Right, let's try the autopilot for a bit, guys. Let me just click on the autopilot, see what it does. So all this stuff here is to do with the uh, missiles and everything else. Same for these things here. And I put the autopilot on, guys. See how it does. That's the weapon. Same with this stuff here, I think. There was something here that had to do with weapons as well. I don't know where it's gone. There was in here, definitely was in here somewhere. So the latter pilot seems to be doing a good job. Plane is keeping straight. With all them boats. Hey guys, you can see, just look at the, how the plane is keeping up. Perfect. Raider. We're definitely in here, I forgot. Cool pumps. Yeah, that's it. That's the weapon one. We got more weapons in there. Obviously they're not gonna work on a Microsoft Flat Simulator. But yeah. What's the autopilot doing? It keeps it going down. We're gonna leave it, guys, until you can see there's something dangerous, but it's a bit too low, maybe, for the autopilot. You see the plane there, shadow. It's keeping straight. I don't see a danger there, but it felt a bit too low for some reason. But I took this uh, longer flight on purpose to see how the plane is going to behave on the autopilot. This is uh, the Czech Republic uh, library. 45 years. It's like a special kind of thing. I'm going to try to land, guys, but I don't know how I'm going to do. Because when I focus on the landing, it's hard for me to grab the mouse and click on that. When you do the landing, it's a bit tricky. I've tried it, like a twice, and it didn't work. And the plane would just fly in the runway. I've uh, attached a button on the keyboard. And when you press that, it's like a brake kind of thing. So that helped me a bit, but still, it's difficult to stop it. 
But of course, a jet like this is not going to be easy to stop, even in real life. Or even uh, to fly, for that matter. It's like a great plane. So only trained personnel can do it. Trained pilots. They have to be, like, difficult. Otherwise, everybody would be doing it. I definitely do like the detail on the cockpit. And that's the... Navigation system there. Got VFR. What I can see. VFR, yep. But all this stuff... I can imagine how great this plane would have been in real life. i never seen one, or I've never been into one, but from what I can see in here, everything like looks great. Old school. Gonna get rid of the autopilot guys, I'm gonna go higher a bit. I think it's just too close for this plane. And look at that afterburner. Let me change the time, guys, so you can see the night time as well. Just to try it out. Not proper like night time, but I'm gonna do it like this, like uh, so you can see. See how that looks like in a sunset or night time a couple of lights there you can see I can do it I guess night time so I can show you the afterburner how that looks like let's look at that guys there's a small version of uh, in here in the cockpit just look at the cockpit at night time be scary to fly Jets at night time, man. I wouldn't imagine doing that. Night time. It would be like crazy. There's a button in here. Max afterburner. But uh, that slows down a bit. The afterburner. It becomes like half the size. Like halfway. And when you do that again. Come on, where are you? Where is it? Where is it gone? Nope, that's not it. We just do the night time, guys. You don't see anything in there. Like daytime. Let's see where it is. Yep. No, that's not it. Yeah, that's it. You see that's uh, coming normal again. But yeah, just keeping up, guys. No issues whatsoever when it comes to flying. It's definitely reliable. It's just quite fast. For her age, it's quite fast. So we did that. We did like uh, 68 or 70 miles, nautical miles, quickly. It's not that. It didn't take that long. It's not bad. But she looks very cool from here. I remember this plane's. Uh, my dad told me that uh, when the communist uh, countries they were uh, offered these planes, some of them they didn't have pilots to fly these planes because they're used to the MiG uh, 15, 17, 19, and when the when they gave them the MiG 21s, they said this is just uh, too complicated. We haven't got training for this. Uh, they couldn't manage it. Because they're used to the F, F uh, to the MiG 15s, MiG 17s. I said this is just uh, another level, and I believe that because this plane changed from old to new. That this plane was a uh, when you see the change, that things were changing, and it must have been like amazing to fly in real life for sure. 
I believe that it would have been like fantastic. So basically to see that you have to stay right here. And maybe a bit too low when you land, maybe a bit funny. And that's the issue I have. So you have to stay like here and do it to click that. But even now that's not the clicking. It's going a bit over. I'm not sure what's happening with that, but now you can see. Click that. I'll try it guys, I'll try it. I'm gonna try it for sure. And hopefully it's gonna work this time. I can do it live. But yeah, lots of you had the issue with the price on this. $39 or $40 and 33 pounds. Uh, could be an issue guys. It could be like a bit uh, cheaper, I guess. But it's a, uh, it's an iconic plane. And probably lots of uh, work went to this to make this for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So that's uh, probably why the price is set at the forty dollars. Only for a jet, you would say that is a bit, uh, just a bit uh, too much. Could it be like uh, twenty-seven ninety-nine in pounds? And maybe $30, I guess, would have been like fair, fair. But this is an iconic jet, guys, so it comes once in a moon. And uh, people uh, wanted this for Microsoft Flight Simulator, so they imported it from, or they converted it from, I think it was P3D. For us to have it. It probably was like a favor to the community to do it. Because you don't see many jets like these in the game. We have the MiG-15 and a MiG-29, uh, but... MiG-21, I never thought I would see a MiG-21 in the sim. But uh, we got it, so great. And I would like some uh, info about the sound, guys. Of this MiG-21. Where does the sounds come from? If anybody knows, please leave a comment. Did the MiG-21 sound exactly like this in real life? It would be great, it would be great to know. It would be great to know, guys. I haven't got much info on that. Let's check where do I need to fly. Slow down a bit. I haven't got a thing in here, so I cannot see which way I'm supposed to land. But, uh... Looks like it's... Uh, I need to turn right. From what I can see from here, I can see the runway from here. Looks like I gotta turn right. As a plane, I love it, guys. I love her. She's great. As a plane, she's definitely great. She's very cool. Very fun to fly. Very stable. I do enjoy flying her. It's just that uh, parachute thing issue that needs to be... I don't know, other... If I could uh, manage a way to sign it up to my controller, it would have been great. But I couldn't find it in the things, so maybe under something else that I missed. I probably missed it. Well, that's the only issue I've got. The parachute thing, nothing else. Like the main thing, that's the most important thing. If you can sort that out, then uh, the plane is fine. It's got no other problems. But that's what I've seen in the previous videos of uh, many people that have done it. The parachute, they couldn't... F First flight, they couldn't find the parachute. Other flights, it was a bit tricky to get it going, because of the position it was. 
I've only seen a guy from Germany that uh, did it. I think he set it up, but... I don't know where, how he set it up on the keyboard. Look at this plane, man, how cool this is. She rules the skies, man, for her age. For sure. She's not moving at all. She's so stable, guys. She's very stable. In the sky. Super reliable in the sky. She, like, doesn't even move like uh, an inch in there. If you don't move it. She's that great. In the sky. I love that about planes. And planes do that. Let me just give it a bit of room before I land. I don't know what's going to happen. And I'm going to go to cockpit after this, after I turn. So I'm going to just give it a bit of a space before I land. I don't want to land like quickly. i give it just a bit of a space. This lever is like cool. So let's try it, guys. Give it a shot. I hope we can do a good job. I hope that it's not. Uh... So let's go. Hope we're gonna do a good job. And another thing, I need to something to find out what speed I'm going, as I cannot tell from the dials. That thing is not. Uh... It's got an issue. As you can see, that's on zero right now. I don't know why. It would be nice to know, like, the, the speed of the plane all the time. I don't like to sit this far from the cockpit because it looks funny. Put the gears down. You can see the plane shaking all over the place. Oh man. I get uh, scared with this plane when I try to land like this. But I cannot see nothing. Guys, just look at that. I cannot see anything. I just want to give it just a bit of power so I don't want to. But I cannot, honestly, I cannot see nothing like this. Nothing, absolutely nothing, guys, I cannot see. So that's why I gave it a bit of power, so I have no idea what's going on. So I'm going to try my best. Oh, man. Probably not. It's not a good landing at all, guys. It's not a good landing at all. Let's try that. If it works. It worked. But uh, it's not a good landing. I'm not happy at all with that landing, guys. But what can you do? It happens sometimes. With this plane. I jumped. Uh, that plane would have been like in pieces in real life. But uh, I just wanted to show the shoot. I guess if you focus more on the landing and open that when you land, the chute when you land, I think you can do a good job. But uh, make sure you sit in a comfortable position that you can see right. Because you need to view the cockpit or outside of the cockpit, whatever you're doing. And I couldn't, like this, I couldn't see nothing. Maybe I should have stayed in here, but it would have taken a long time for me to turn to do that. That's the reason I stayed like this. There would be more room for that. But that's the only issue I've ho I've got the shoot position. 
But if you stay like this, or like this, it would be better to see it. But if I stay like this, that's disappeared. You cannot see it anymore, that's why I need to set it up, guys. Find a way to set it up on your controller, on your keyboard. Otherwise, you're gonna mess up that landing. And it's a shame. I, I don't want to do that. I don't want to show messed up landings. But th that was a demonstration of what uh, what can happen. So yeah, guys. The, sh the shoot worked. You gotta hit that. As soon as you land, you hit the shoot button and it, and it works. No issues there, but make sure you f you do a good landing first. Then you deploy the shoot. So yeah, guys. Uh... Hopefully you enjoyed uh, this uh, video. Uh, you're running only. Quantum giving uploads. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks very much.